all right so today what we are learning is that how to make your pictures look better by cutting off the background the unwanted irrelevant ugly background that we don't need we will get rid of it by using pen tool majorly I always prefer to clean the edges first before I deep dive into the pen tool itself okay so here's the pen tool let's just get started you can select anywhere to start with press hold and move your cursor mouse cursor up or down however the shape is and then in mac obviously you will use option key and then press here to close this otherwise if you don't close it and go further you will notice this uncertainty coming along so after making your first curve you have to close this tab by pressing option on mac and alter on windows so you have to keep holding option and then click on this not you see here it will close the previous selection so that it will allow you photoshop to understand that you are done drawing this part now moving on to the next part click drag move according to the surfaces right or left try to now as i've got used to it so now i know how exactly where the mouse will go when if i move it in a certain direction so you have to practice while doing this so let's just click here and drag it up I'm doing it very roughly so that you can have an idea how to do it. For such shapes, click, bend, move your mouse away to get the perfect shape. I'm not using mouse actually, I'm using a trackpad so I'm finding it a bit difficult. Okay. very very easy for you to do it not too much of complexity easy peasy there we go and at some points you won't have to drag your mouse like at this point I'm not dragging the mouse I'm just clicking on the next points I know that would do for example this one I don't need to follow the mouse for its motion straight lines will always be very easy to cut them out
a little bent here as you can see that i need to do a bend here so i'm not selecting a point here or here what i'm doing is that i'm after this point i've chosen this point and i'm going to move my cursor up in the air so that i can get the bouncy curve here now to close this point option or alter and then press here done This is a frost that I needed, so I did a slight curve. These details are important. I could go straight, but that frost was important to take and always at such um, well cutting off background from such objects always try to ignore the hard black line you see there's a hard black line right next to the subject so try to ignore that hard black line you don't need that selected cool and move forward this technique what I'm showing you today is essential for product photography and uh, if you are somehow working for any e-commerce business website they would require you to okay I'll continue what I was telling you later so as you can see that I've completed making a pattern so once I let's just go back in the end what happened so as you see that this was my last point okay so on the last point you will notice that on the cursor you will see a small circle that means that that is the last point that is when your selection is completed that you were making around your object once it's done and uh, the next part is going to be right click make selection and realized feather radius zero okay and then control x or command x new 
let's say whatever custom okay control V and then command T resize your product accordingly All So here's your glass of the ice cream that you just made a cut out of. Or you can also place it on any other background if you have any. Let's just quickly google for any background. And let's say table DJ. Okay, I've got mine. What I wanted to use is here. This is just okay, great. So, this is a free pick. You can download stuff from here for free. Free download. There it is. I've got it here. Let's just quickly take it to our Photoshop and drop it here here it comes Press enter rasterize drop it down ok here it comes your glass on the table you can crop picture accordingly here is the crop here is the crop There are ways to match your image to the background by blending options. There are blending options or whatever you think is the best for your image to match it to the background. Can you see the finishing here that we have got? We've got amazing finishing here. But honestly, if I tell you, we could do better. But it was just for the sake of, you know making you understand how to use this tool so this is it this is it for this video thanks for watching there's my website link but you can check my photography here and i've got some cool stuff on my instagram you can have a look Stay tuned, I'll be posting more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.